I want to be in the room where it happens. The room where it happens. I want to be in the room where it happens. The room where it happens. Where you go through each other's search histories. I don't got bars. Welcome to the Locker's Planet Podcast. Where we go through each other's internet search histories to find out how fucked up we are. To my left, I have my co-host. The one and only, big not sexy, Big Sexy, Big Sexy, that's Chris Bazemore. I am your host, Chris Ryder. Welcome back, guys. How you doing? I'm all right. He thinks he's got waves, and he doesn't. I have waves. My waves look much better than your fro did. My fro was always perfect. No, it wasn't. You showed the internet. You, yeah, and, and you know you what? You put I got receipts. A D- and a, I got a DM that said, don't do that to that boy. Who? You DM my yourself? <laughs> Why does my mama follow me? I don't know. I don't know. But we, we opened up with Hamilton. You saw Hamilton. I saw Hamilton. And that shit fire. Is, is, is this the deep dive of the week? It's not. Oh. Is it fire? No, I'm, I'm, no I, mine was a statement. It is fire. No, it's not fire. Nigga. It's dope. <laughs> it's, 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 fucking, it's the dopest Hamilton. shit. Hamilton. Hamilton is the shit, man. I, I fucks with Hamilton a lot. I think Hamilton is one of the best plays I've ever seen. It's the best hip hop play I've ever seen. Much better you than You didn't Kong. watch Carmen? <laughs> Much, a hip hop rock? I hate I hate Beyonce that she had to tarnish her her yeah. great things with that. She bounced. I feel like that was in between Destiny's Child and her solo career. That, that was, was the time to make a fuck up. Mm. That it was a gamble, but it was a good time to gamble. That was also a good time to like, like, yeah, like you said, just fail. Yeah, yeah. And try shit out. She could have, she could have Mariah carried herself and done glitter at her peak, and then <sighs> falling off for quite a few years. True, but that's Beyonce. Now, all right, my deep dive. Right, that's, that's doing music. It does. I I don't listen to much why, radio. Why am I a great rapper? Shut up! Know. Shut shut up! I said bars on bars. I'm Into sitting ways. in cars. Everyone you love me because like they Jamie say. Kennedy. Your mother. <laughs> <laughs> That's so disrespectful. <laughs> Call me a white man in a time like yeah. this. Yeah, I did. <laughs> um, so I don't, I don't listen to much radio, right? Mm-hmm. I got Spotify. People got Apple Music. Why the fuck would you bother with radio? I but agree. I caught some of it. And uh, it clicked on me. One, Roddy Rich, the fucking box song. That e- song ooh. was number one e- for ooh. a solid two months. E- ooh. Blew my mind. You didn't know that? I did not know that. It's because of the e oops. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> but it, it clicked on me. When was the last time? I'm going to let you guess. When was the last time there was a number one hit single that didn't just utilize instruments, but had instruments played by the artists? Uh, uh, Takashi 6 9 Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, last one where there was an artist, probably John Legend. Or Prince. <laughs> Prince. We're going to Prince. <laughs> Purple Rain. That was the last time. <laughs> really? No. <laughs> Just to run you through what is current, what is done number one numbers this year. Uh-huh. We opened up the year with Mariah Carey. All I want to do is Christmas. Oh, that doesn't count. Right? Yeah. Post Malone with Circles, which is oh. instruments, but I don't, I'm pretty sure he's not playing them, so I, I disregard it. I think he plays the guitar, though. Roddy Rich from January 18th to March 28th. Them, the them. weekend, Drake, the weekend, Travis Scott, Doja Cat, your usual suspects, suspects up until this point. Uh-huh. So, of course, not in this year. So I go back to last year. Who was the big guy last year? Who who reigned supreme last year for almost three months? Probably Justin Bieber. Lil Nas X. Uh, I'm going to take my horse to the old right. town road. But still not what I'm looking for. But damn, this kid fucking legit. April 3rd, he for an entire almost quarter. Was him? How you, do you think that kid cannot? It like, is he finally good enough or far enough in his career where he doesn't have to wear like a cowboy hat? He could just be regular. No, he, that's like his or is that now done. His, like that's he's, he's stuck with that. Oh, poor kid. Like I don't ever want to see him in a starter cap. Like I'm like I don't know who you are. <laughs> I think he should. Man. He's not getting in the club without fucking. <laughs> like they're not letting him in. <laughs> Nigga, don't he has take to come back with a hat. And they're like, now can I get? Oh, look at his ex. That's crazy. Some guy was around here pretending to be you. <laughs> he wasn't wearing chaps. So nothing last year. Also a big year for Lizzo. Yes. No music. We, I mean, there was some. She plays uh, the flute, though. She does. I, 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 I loved so, it on the BET Awards. Because it included twerking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, bitch. She was, she was great. All right. I don't mind last year. It was Deese. 2018 We're going was back. the last time we had an artist uh-huh. who utilized instruments, have a number one single. Can you name that artist? From 2018. Mm-hmm. Ed Sheeran, Shape of You. 
you, sir, are correct on half. <laughs> Ed Sheeran Got him. is the answer. I'm, I'm an Ed Sheeran fan, but What son. was the song? Uh, Shape of You. No, it was not. It was not. Mm-mm. That was a big song. It was song. It was a big song, but not. Um, no. but, 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 but Ed Sheeran at that time. Fuck. I don't even know. I'm drawing a blank. Dive? We literally sang it on the way over here. Perfect. 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 Matter of fact. Yo, fam. First of all, don't be putting out in the streets. We sang that shit as men. Nah, we sung it as And it was the duet with Beyonce. But I was Beyonce. And I, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Had long lasting. Now last year, right? Uh, 2018, great year in music. Fucking Drake, God's Plan was all over the place. This God's is America. Plan. So I wanted to go back, back. Because mm-hmm. I wanted to, like, I feel like previously it was only instruments. I wanted to see if I could catch the transition. Uh, 2000s. See? Manny Fresh. That's what it was. <laughs> that was actually him on the drums. Like, yeah. he don't have a synthesizer <laughs> at all. Um, I was think basically. All those like angsty teen rock bands, the Blink 182s, maybe the oh, Nickelback. Probably, yeah. I thought they had number one hit song. They didn't. Not even uh, fucking uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers? I mean, then, then you're going like n- deeper into the 90s. Like, you may True. not even be like, give it away, True. give it away, give it away. Now, I think it was like 1995. Oh, fuck. I was a kid. Right? I was not, I was three. But it ebbs and it flows. Like, it goes through different mm. periods. So, one. I'm going to take you back to, I think, 1997. In 1997, I just started selling much, crack. I mean, yeah, right, you just, so you're five years old, you start selling crack. <laughs> yeah, stand on the corner. Let me just run you through 1997's with the, the rankings of okay. the top songs. We started off the year with Tony Braxton. Unbreak my deepest heart. voice on a bitch. <laughs> Sin, ain't no, like, her and my hands got the deepest voices. I'm going to come clean. Now, Beyonce got a deep voice, too. She got a deep voice. It's, Next it's, up, oh, I'm tired not, of talking to you. I'm not, I'm not even. She has a deep voice. I'm not saying it's a bad sound of voice. It sounds beautiful. But her voice is deeper than people than give. Than Tony Braxton's? No. Okay. But it's, it's in that register, though. So you think she's like a, a, a flexible Yeah, I think tenor. she. Alto? It would be probably an alto. I think Tony might be a tenor. Um, yeah. She's something like Blue from The Temptations. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like David Ruffin. All right, so, next, so after Tony, we got Spice Girl. This is like this is like prime '90s music, right? Uh, I wanna be your lover. What's that? Hypnotize. Uh-huh. Mbop. Wild, terrible song. Utilizes instruments, uh-huh. so you see it's sort of salted in there at times. Yeah, right. But this it seems no like money, it's mostly no problems. Mariah Carey, Boys seems, to Men. Was it? Seems like it's mostly like oh, it's white. Oh, def. Oh, oh, we gonna get to that. We end off the year with Elton John just tearing the fourth quarter up. Mm, and I Christmas Candle songs. in the Wind. I don't even know that song, but it's number one from October through the end of the year. It's about his gay lover. It could might be. His penis, he called it a candle. The next year is pretty much you'll is, is mostly <laughs> it's 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 quintessential nineties. You got some Usher, Will That's Smith's in like. there, uh, uh Get Brandy, jiggy with it. <laughs> Sat, Elton John still, uh Brandy and Monica, the boy is mine, right? Can I tell you a quick story about that? I used to think that they were talking about me the whole time. Okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I swear. I was like, yo, they arguing over me. And I was a kid, right? So I used to be like, I would go to like my family and be like, hey, I'm going to tell you a secret. <laughs> They'd be like, what the fuck? I'd be like, no, that I'm song. Five. <laughs> <laughs> that song that you hear, it's about me. And they'd be like, if you don't get your stupid ass back in the room, I got that a lot. Now, a hundred percent used to do that. But we seeing some. We still seeing the instruments here because we yeah. got Aerosmith. Don't want to miss a thing. It's mostly rock. It and seems yeah, like. bare naked ladies. Soon as rock dies, right? But, but this is around the time where like the angsty teen shit is really revving up. So I'm thinking, I kissed the girl. I would think around that time. That's like 2006. It was still instruments. You would think. All yeah. right, the year 2000. What do we start off with? 2000. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Some Usher shit. No. What? Santana Smooth. And that's all band. Yeah, because he plays. Him and Rob Thomas. Yeah. But then you still How see. How about Maria the, Maria? Is that, is that that's also on the list? That's for the year 2000. Fun. That's all I'm asking. Legit, like two months. Maria, Maria. But that quintessential sound of the late 90s, 2000s is still there. You got Christina in here. You got Destiny's Child, Aaliyah, mm-hmm. fucking Matchbox 20, NSYNC, Cisco, Janet, right? This is around the time of Kids Bop. Creed had a week in there. With arms wide open. I don't even know that. Okay. I grew up in Brooklyn. Now, 
hey, about to start seeing a transition that you may not have noticed while you were living. Oh, here. I already know what's, what's next. I All already right. know what's next. I already know when it changes. I'm so confident. And it comes from your state. Hey, okay, okay. <laughs> so we, we almost, here we go. Okay, 2001, <laughs> really not any different. But you almost see zero songs utilizing instruments. We got Shaggy, Janet, Lady Marmalade, Usher. Alicia Keys is the one stronghold that's using an instrument. I keep on, on falling. falling. Yep, you precisely right. Come and that's on, man. pretty much it for the year 2001. Come on, where's my guy? Where's my guy? He's coming. In 2002. <laughs> Where is he at? Not only, okay, like five people ran music in that year. Uh -huh. Let me run you through this. We start, off with, we, we start off with, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we start off with Nickelback. So there's the whole instrument okay. thing. Ushers, you got it bad. Month you and a half. It, you got it bad. Ja Rule, always on time, two weeks. Uh. Jennifer Lopez featuring Ja Rule, month Ain't and a half. It funny. Immediately followed by Foolish, which Ja Rule is in the video. Yeah. This nigga ruled the first half of the year 2002. He did. Then here comes my guy. <laughs> Murphy Lee. Yep, son. Murphy Lee was hot in here. No, <laughs> it was Nelly's hot in here immediately followed by Dilemma. 14 straight weeks, number one. Good man. Good man. Quickly broken up by Kelly Clarkson for two weeks. But then he takes it right back with Dilemma for three more weeks. <laughs> and then we close out the year with Eminem. Awesome. Well, I named maybe six acts. Mm -hmm. I said Ja Rule three times. Nelly was there for like a solid six. It's good, yeah. It's like seven people. No, but we, we started off with an instrument. And ended off with an instrument. No, we ended off with Eminem. Oh, that was it for the year 2002. Now, one of the, now I'm going to name off 2003. And you tell me if you hear what I hear, all right? Uh -huh. First song of the year, Eminem. Okay. Oh, wait, maybe it's the next year then. I'm bugging, I'm bugging. But same sort of deal. This year has literally no instruments, not a single one. We go Eminem, B2K, J Lo, 50 Cent, Sean Paul, 50 Cent, Clay Aiken, Beyonce, Nelly again, not a single instrument in the entire year. Right? So you're starting to see that transition. We're yes. fading out the instruments. I think this is the year I'm talking about, 2004. Now, let me know if you see what I see when I read these off. We start off the year with Hey Ya. Outcast. Hey, um, Immediately oh, that's a good one. followed up by The Way You Move, Outcast. Killing again. Slow Jams, Twisted Kanye West, Jamie Foxx. Usher's Yeah for a solid two and a half months. Okay. Usher's Burn. I Believe by Fantasia. I thought Burn was about him having a venereal disease. Just want to put, did. <laughs> did. put that out there. I could have not. <laughs> uh, burn Again, Confessions Part 2. That shit was fire. Juvenile Slow Motion. Ooh. Fat Joe's Lean Back. Oh. Sierra's goodies, Usher and Alicia Keys is my boo, and Always then closing out the year with dropping person. like it's hot, Snoop Dogg and Pharrell. Did you notice anything about that year? Black power, black. <laughs> not a single. The whitest artist on the list is Fat Joe because he's Puerto Rican. Mm. But that is as close as literally the entire year is straight us, straight black. Pe people I wanna, of I color. I want to congratulate us. Yeah, 2004 <laughs> was a good year. It's a good year. Uh, musically. Music, yeah. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Could, not for, if you lived in New Orleans, not so much, but. Yeah. Oh, that was the next year. So you good. You good. You good. You good. Little 2005, the whites come back. They take it back. They take it back. But one, I forgot about my boy Mario. Let me, Let me you. love you was pretty much the first. That's how we started off 2005. Yo, I got us. Can I hit you with a story about Let Me Love You? So there was a school dance. Don't, don't look at my I face. Don't. There was a school dance, right? And I was crushing on this chick for the whole year, just crushing. And you was like, ooh. Uh. When that part came on, <laughs> I look for her immediately. I'm like, I, I'm going to dance with her. She's going to stay in my eyes. I'm going to get my first like, make out kiss. We're going to fall in love. And right now we're going to be married. I, so I hear the ooh, yeah. So I see everyone go, oh, shit, and start dancing, right? Right. So I'm like, I got to make my way over to her. How I'm going to do it? I'm going to dance over there, right? And I'm Slide dancing over. over there, and some dude slides in. Ooh. Takes her right from me. They wind up not only getting together, but <laughs> they was like lost a lot of things together from what I heard. 
And I was like, that could have been me because of Mario. And if I would have just walked up to her and probably just sung the song, probably got some pussy. So that's my story. Mario, fuck you, because that song was really good, and everyone wanted to dance with my bitch. That was that shit. That everyone that wanted shit. to dance with her. Everyone fucking wanted to dance with her. And I was really upset, because another dude, like when I couldn't get to her, another dude was like, he was trying to get to her. And I was like, yeah. He's like, me too. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone, man. Sorry, brother. Sorry for you. Sad. All right. So fuck Mario for that. But, but, but it's a great, great song. song. Great song. Uh, we don't really see an instrument again until 2006, and it's a maybe. Mm. It's James Blunt's You're Beautiful. And I don't You're know so if he beautiful. plays an instrument. Yeah. Because the, the video you... don't show you. He sits on a fucking iceberg for three and a half minutes. Is that the don't matter what you say, words can bring you down? No, that's... um. I saw her face in a crowded place. Why was he on the iceberg? And I don't know what to do. Why was he on the iceberg? Because I'll never be with you. That's that song? Yeah. You think that was hot in the streets? <laughs> that was you think, the shit in the you th- streets. You think Brooklyn was rocking to that? We would have shot the person. No, I, don't, I don't think it would. <laughs> what? But assuming he doesn't play an instrument, I don't know when they came back. Two thousand. Like it literally had to be, would have had to been Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran's? Yeah. Because, you know, here's the thing. Everything is condensed. Everything is on this. As someone who uh, actually made beats and everything, I thought it was dope to uh use and utilize like the computer it made everything easier mm-hmm. but what i enjoyed was when i l- had to learn how to play piano because i was like it'll spice up my beats sure instead of just going dink dink ding 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 i can spice some shit up uh then i learned guitar then i learned bass and shit and i noticed a lot of times people wouldn't even go for those i would play those songs for people mm-hmm. like yo i got this beat it got a fucking real bass line, not an 808. And people be like, nah, G. And I'm not saying I was I great. That. Yeah. And I'm not saying I was great by any means, but it's like people's ears just changed. They just didn't sure. fuck with that. And then like R&B people were more so fuck with yeah. it. But I'm like, nah, this is supposed to be in the club, son. This ain't supposed to be about no heartbreak. Right. Or unless heartbreak is losing money. So that's, it was, I don't know, it didn't man. work. When I hear a beat that's usually like, like when Chance the Rapper, he, I feel like he utilizes like a horn section pretty well. But he, he fucks with this guy named Donnie Trumpet, who actually plays the trumpet. Mm. So that I would know, make sense. I fuck with all his shit. That would make, yeah, but that would make sense why you would. Right. Because he has that element there. So I think music in terms of like instruments, it's just everything is easy. It's on a computer. Sure. It's fucking, why wouldn't you do that? Because anyway, right, why wouldn't that. you make your life easier? Yeah. Now, instead of trying to learn fucking but you'd also 64 think pieces. Saving yourself money. Ed Sheeran saving his money, not having a, uh, not having oh. to hire Pharrell. True. Or uh, Scott Storch. Is he I still mean, he's alive? still producing. Yes. <laughs> he hasn't overdosed. Because that's what you were <laughs> assuming. I know you. I don't know. I, uh, who, who was he the, did a lot of coke. One? Dark child. Oh, that was him. Scott Storch was the one who went broke. Yeah. Okay. They say. I wasn't with him. A friend of his? <laughs> yeah. Just, that's my guy. doing fine. <laughs> she sent me money the other day. <laughs> It was ten dollars, <laughs> but it's mine. Um, yeah, no, it's just I don't know. The music, music just changes periodically. Now the biggest thing out is like drill music, mm-hmm. which is like the pop smokes, right? And the baby, that's not really drill. It's what more is he? like he's he's like trap, but he's like pop kind of in a way. He's he's rap rap, but like a lot of his songs. You just combine the word. What was that word you just said? Proc. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, don't, I don't know how to classify him. I guess he would go in like hip hop, yeah. but he's versatile. The thing I like about it, I can actually hear what he's saying. He actually gives yeah, no, you he's, bars. He's not bad. I, yeah. I fucks with him. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I would say right now the biggest thing is like the New York drill scene with like the Blickies and the, and the Woos. I don't even know what you're saying right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you are making shit up. <laughs> it's like I'm just making the, yeah. He's making, all right, the, he's having the a spasm. Janices, <laughs> the Jeffries. <laughs> the Capoettes. Yeah. <laughs> Capolettes. <laughs> no, the, um, so it's, it's like a drill thing. Yeah. And maybe, I mean, maybe that's because I'm in Brooklyn. I just list his shit. I see it a lot. But is that, that, that kind of is a different, yeah. it's a different texture. It's I different mean, it goes, music. like I said, it goes, it ebbs and it flows. You'll probably, yeah. maybe we'll see. Jason Mraz might have a banger this year and it'll be on a ukulele or some Fam. shit. I don't know. Fam. That's what I thought of a minute ago. Fam. Like when they utilize. You know who I fuck with? 
who uses instruments and she's a black woman so we support you don't because you don't like black women clearly that's a lie. but you told me you don't like your mama that's my mama though <laughs> oh, like, that's, that's not can't say that about all black women <laughs> my mother's terrible <laughs> You got beat a lot as a kid. I got hit. Uh, I get it. <laughs> Sometimes I don't like my mom. Yeah, no, she's the greatest. <laughs> yeah, you you think about those ass whoopings. Yeah. You ever had a flashback? Can't wait for her to get older. <laughs> you putting her in the home? Yeah. Where else am I put her? In your house. In, my, in Brooklyn? Yeah. No. She could like, you know, migrate. She could be somewhere. Nah, old folks' homes in Missouri are very cost effective. Because it's called euthanasia. Gavorky <laughs> 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 and old folks. So. <laughs> yeah. They just, as soon as they walk in, God, God, God. <laughs> right in the neck. Here's your invoice. <laughs> Here's your invoice. Here's, just give me a turkey bacon <laughs> sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> but who's this woman you talking about who plays instruments? Uh, her name is Mahalia. I do not know her. She's from London. Okay. She's dope. She has a lot, like, she has a band and shit. A lot of her stuff is from live instruments. Mm-hmm. Um, I think she plays the guitar. But um, generally, she's just a the act. It's not really a band, but she has like people. I can dig it. Yeah, it's who's dope. the young black dude? Uh, Daniel Caesar. He's dope as shit. Yeah, him. I fuck with. See, he might have some pop off this year. Him, sir, is popping, but I don't, I don't think he really does like the instru- it's instruments within his stuff. But I don't know if he plays them. There's a couple motherfuckers. You know, we say Lizzo fucking plays. Maybe she have a banger that really utilizes the might, flute. I hope she's not, but I think she might be done on the music side. I don't think she'll get as big as she got. That's what I, I don't mean. Know. I feel like she will. I think she's just taking a long she hiatus because of because she was. I think she was. I mean, she killed the game last year on the charts, and she was really just getting the bag this year with the touring. But of course, COVID shut that shit down. Of course, but like when you think about it also, and it took her a Cardi long. It took B. Truth Hurts a long time to come up. Like I yeah. remember that song when it came out in 2016. And it took it like two, three years to even hit the charts. And I go think it's dope. One. I'm going to be honest. I fucked with it. I want her to come back. But I think those people who hit those pinnacles yeah. don't generally stay there so, as yeah. they used to. Like like you said, like the Nellies right. and shit would come she, back. She shouts number one out of, out of nowhere. Like Jaros. I remember when Rihanna debuted, mm. I thought after Pond Reba, I was like, this ain't going to be shit. But she <laughs> didn't hit number one. She came out, floated in the middle with a nice little hit. Yeah. And then she came, you know, she Tom Brady back. Right. She Tom Brady. She yeah. was a late round draft right. pick, and she she came in. She did just okay. Right. So we know her name, but nothing out of the water. But if you come out and you just like the number one draft pick, so much. Right. Lizzo could be like a Sam Bradford. Ex- Oof, come on, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. He was I. Right. He had a year. Did he? No. <laughs> I think he threw for. 2000 he threw. Loss. He threw. He threw interceptions. Yeah, yeah, a whole bunch. <laughs> he of threw. Them. He threw to the other team. <laughs> it's Ram shit, if y'all know. Uh, but um, yeah, music is music goes through ebbs and flows. Fo- fo- ebbs and flows. What's the ebbs and flows? I don't know. I don't even know how to spell that. Ebbs and flows. Sipping don't on rap. dirty God with damn the it. toes. She gonna love me, cause I gotta. Malibu's most wanted. I'll fight you. <laughs> 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 I got more bars than you. I don't have bars. So I already have more. Yeah. I don't feel like I won anything. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, it's like, I you ever had one of those competitions with someone? Like, you'd be like, I'm better at you at this. And he's like, yeah, nigga, I don't play chess. <laughs> yeah, like, oh. Okay. Right. You, you play checkers? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't do anything. I'm, like, All right. I'm better than you in everything. <laughs> so. With that. Is it about that time? It's about that time. For. Sponsors. So oh, uh, <laughs> I didn't know where he was going. <laughs> Blue Chew. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> if you listen to Blue Chew. <laughs> Holla at us, son. Yeah. He uses it all the time. His don't. dick don't work without it. So. He likes to project. I, <laughs> 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 I don't. <laughs> all right, so it's about that time for us to go through search history. Show yeah. All right. So you know what? I want to start this differently. I want to go through your shit. First. Oh, go ahead. Because you always go through mine, and I feel like it's unfair to me as a black man in America. Go ahead. <clears throat> you don't got to look at mine. Well, get You're ready. going through yours. I want to get ready. Um, age of consent in Missouri. That's not. I look that <laughs> up. Is, it? <laughs> is 12 okay? That's, That's what it says. I know. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it doesn't say that. You're looking up weight loss. Did Hitler say Hitler Illuminati? Let's, let's oh, that was uh, there was you know people fucking 
I'm from Missouri, so my feed is a lot of Illuminati, rural conservatives who love posting memes where they like to attribute quotes to people who didn't say them. Like it'll be some sort of poignant bullshit conservative mm. quote, and then it's a picture of Ice Cube, like he said the shit. <laughs> Four score, right? And I'll be like, you didn't think he didn't say that. So then I gotta Google it and then fucking text him, be like, yo, hey, jackass, like that's fake. Or like I remember there was a picture of. Uh, what what Bennett brother the, the football players Michael was, was a Seahawk Michael there I was think. a Photoshop picture of him burning an American flag after a game like in the locker room and so I immediately but that's the shit that I'm talking about I was like what <laughs> why would that he even do that in general <laughs> and it just seems like, like a, a, yeah. that just seems like a weird way of celebrating a, a oh, win yeah or even a loss. loss. Or even the loss. Like, so, of course, I had to go. I Googled it. Snopes found the real picture. Sent it to Jackass. Be like, you stop. Is that coming from the whole uh, Deshaun Jackson thing? Where he gave that quote. It was a fake Hitler quote, apparently. No, I and was they just, killed him. They called him an anti-Semite. He put up my, uh, uh, some Missourian put up a, a Hitler quote. Mm. Basically, where he alluded to the Illuminati. And oh. I was like, was that even a fucking, I don't even know. I'm honest, I didn't even look at the article yet. If there's anyone to know about the Illuminati. <laughs> <laughs> Hitler might, might know a thing or two. It was, I think, if, 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 if I remember the quote somewhat correct, basically it was, America is going to put black people in a system of oppression because they're an arm of the Illuminati. I think something like that. But I was like, did Hitler say that? Like, I, I don't feel like he didn't. A, I didn't look up the article. I don't feel like he had enough time to talk about black right. people. He was, <laughs> he was like busy. He was, he was focused on other shit. Yeah, like he was busy at it was the time. another group of people he was trying to oppress. Which, to be fair, dickhead of a person. Yeah, but, no, he's like, not, not a cool dude. Not a cool dude, but like under that it says Hitler is kind of cool. That's what you put there. Nah, it was uh, temperature. Ah. <laughs> he, he, he ran cold. You ain't know that? Nah, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. You want to go through? You want to go through? Mine? Let's, let's see what it says. Oh, also, I just quickly looked at the Snopes article. Hitler did not say that. <laughs> that he runs cold? <laughs> that, that he runs he, he's, Oh, here, here's the quote. Hitler, and this is literally, I'm not editorializing. This is the meme. Okay. Hitler said, even in his death, he will start World War Three. Oh, yeah. That was the quote that Deshaun Jackson. Oh, uh, was it? But, yeah. Oh, well, then there we go. Yeah. Uh, and apparently Hitler didn't say it, so maybe you were right. It was uh, that's where a it comes from. That Deshaun Jackson, um, you wanted to <laughs> <laughs> uh, take your moment. I'm, uh, my brain is like on a scatter. Okay, you wanted to know what a second cousin is. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why though? Because I wanted to know where the second cousin removed and all that shit is. Yeah, I always hear about that. I'm like, yo, they be removing Twice removed cousins. And yeah. Shit, yeah. So it stemmed from a conversation I was having with someone because uh, there's a basketball player named Kent Bazemore, right? Mm -hmm. And I cannot confirm this, but I'm almost certain that we're related because he's from exactly where my family is from. We bear the same last name. So I have to assume sure. there's some lapse. So someone was like, what would that person be? And I'm like, I don't know, maybe like a second cousin removed. This right. And he's like, really? They removed him? That's dumb. And I was like, <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't think that's what it means. But that's why I looked it up. So I was like, what does it mean? Because I said it mad confident, like, he's like second cousin removed. Like I was a right. part of the committee. <laughs> we voted him out. Yeah, I mean, he couldn't dunk at the time. We didn't know. So. So the reason I was initially alarmed is okay. because, one, you wanted to know what a second cousin was, but then you wanted to know what do they do with amputated limbs? Yo, son, you never think of that? I mean, it made me think that you had <laughs> dismembered a family member, and he was like, do I got to feel bad? Because it's only my second cousin. I'm going to be honest with you. You know, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you know that I'm a, um, I'm a prodigy, right? Like, I can do a surgery if I want to. I don't know that, but I've heard you say it. So. <laughs> I said it, did I say it confidently? Yeah, I, you said it with confidence. Yeah, I, I can do a knee surgery easily. Right. So, <laughs> don't look away. <laughs> don't look so, I don't know, just talking about that, I was like, yo, do they just, what they do with the limbs? Like, can I take it home as a souvenir? And, and, and practice. Oh, as a souvenir. Yeah, like, yo, I lost this arm, son. No, you didn't. They just put it on your chest. Take that with you. 
So I was, I was looking up, like, what do you, what can you do with the Plus left? Because the amputee get to keep it. Yeah, ah. not like, not like a random person walking by. <laughs> it's like, it's yeah. like, you got the juice now. <laughs> I'm touch that. It's but, yours, fam. Take care of it. <laughs> the last guy, the last guy did not. So now it's yours. <laughs> it was in a train wreck. <laughs> so that's why I looked that that up. I wanted to know um, what they do. Can I tell you what they do with them? Oh yes. I, oh sure. You can take them home. You gotta Gross. put a request. <laughs> you gotta, hey son, that leg you took from me, I need that back. <laughs> <laughs> that's someone determined. That's someone that can't live with the fact. He was like, I'm gonna figure this out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting this shit. Back or on. take it to a different hospital. This hospital didn't know what they right. was doing. <laughs> Fix this shit. But it showed up already. F- figure it out. You a doctor? So also, they they just throw them out. They but they they put them in like these red bags and throw them into a field. Essentially, and just set them on fire. Oh, cool! I, I don't think they throw them in the field. I'm okay, <laughs> <laughs> like zombies or some shit. I was like, oh, I don't like that. But at like all. they, they like incinerate them essentially. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, like a, like a, like a dead person. They cremate it. Essentially. Okay. You don't got to keep going through though. Oh, will. I, I go through yours. You went through two. Go ahead. Go I ahead. Mean, I have nothing to hide. Uh, you're looking up. First of all, I. Saliva mattresses? Sattva. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> Sattva mattress, if you're listening, I would love a mattress. My <laughs> shit is old and it hurts my back. Well, how important is, is a mattress to you? It ain't. Mm. But like the other day, I hurt my back sleeping on my stomach. Hmm. Shut up. I know. It's, it's literally one of the fattest injuries you can yeah, give yourself. <laughs> I jerked your back. I sleep on my tummy, dog. <laughs> like, was your stomach I, pushing your back up? No, because it was. Um, I didn't have a fan or anything in my bedroom, so I was sleeping out here because the AC. Mm. And yeah, this this ain't really meant to be slept on. I and know. I could tell. I think my phone went off and it was on the coffee, and I like fucking jerked or something in my sleep. Ah. And then my and it wasn't pulled because I've pulled. I've like thrown my back out out before, but it was. I had an incredibly short doing, range of motion. Doing what? Some fat shit reaching for Pooping. a ding dong. Come on. I'm, I'm talking about serious shit. No, that's what, I swear to God, I was hooping. I was whooping this kid's ass. But the way me and this kid used to play was, mm. he's a young African-American man. <laughs> right? Why is that information? When he important? told me he'd be on his way to the gym, I knew he was nowhere near the fucking gym. Yeah, of course. So I knew I had like a 40-minute lead time to 40? get there. Yeah, my man's was notoriously so late. So don't ever say that I'm late. Ever. Just because he later don't mean you ain't late. Anyway... I'd get to the gym, I'd run, I'd maybe like do a, little, a few little, you know, free throws, whatever. I'd be warm. Mm. This one time, he happened to pick me up on the way to the gym, so uh-huh. I wasn't warmed up at all. We on game three or four, he's guarding me at the half court line, so I throw up a prayer because he's playing defense. Like, we terrible. get paid to play. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, terrible. Long rebound. I get it. I get him with the pump. He goes flying up in the air. My body starts to go, and it's a pump fake, so I bring it back down, and I, my one of my fucking lumbars just went <laughs> and like you ever like lose your breath like <gasps> that like it was not did you just hit I the didn't floor tr- oh yeah I was done I literally just dropped I was like alright you gotta take me home right now I would have I would have been like oh you suck <laughs> you're like so I win right and I was like <laughs> and I was winning the game by a lot I would have took your socks <laughs> <laughs> you don't deserve you don't deserve those socks uh, yeah, no, I you- did it to myself <laughs> exactly that's worse <laughs> <laughs> it's, so that's how you hurt your back that's how I, that the only way don't well, I have to throw my back out twice, but that was the uh-huh. more devastating one. I was out for I literally worked from home on my back for two weeks. Fuck. The one time I threw out my back, it was like I was at this porn star. Oh, shut you? up, shut up, <laughs> shut up. There was a bunch of them. It was you just me. In someone else's nut. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> that would have been terrible. <laughs> that's one way of ending a bat. That's <laughs> she's like, yo, oh, Jenna James, I'm on my way. <laughs> <laughs> if you land in a power in face, oh. oh, and you can't even identify that semen, so you can't even you like who's that is. <laughs> I can't even <laughs> can't even be mad at a person, right? <laughs> and why is it on the floor in a pile? It could be anybody's. Oh, yeah, I was trying to distract you. Go ahead, go ahead, take you can take that. Ain't nothing in there. I'm shamed up. You looked up Dawn Eagleheart. Who the fuck is Dawn Eagleheart? Dawn Eagleheart is the wife of uh, James Monroe Eagleheart, which if you've seen the original Aladdin on Broadway. Or uh, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. He's Titus is um, like nemesis. The ah. dude is six two. His wife is like six fucking five. 
Google image this shit if you're like she towers over him. Like if they're hooping, he's the underdog. You picking her all the time? Hey, yes. Uh, like, okay. Volleyball, bat, anything where I, I need a height advantage, you I'm taking her. homie's wife. I get that. I get She's that. She's very tall. I understand. So you trying to self groom? I see. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you see the waves. The waves are there, but so are the gray hairs. Um, oh, that was a low blow, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he, got, he got gray hair. <laughs> so you got a ball spot, and your hairline is receding. I know, God, I know. And your mother doesn't love you. So, hmm? you 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 was purchased, or at least on Amazon for a lot of things. Oh yeah. And one. It, <laughs> Maybe you was going to hand these out to people. I don't know. But you wanted to purchase five black card revoked cards. <laughs> <laughs> you was going to hand all of them to Candace Owens or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to send it to her. <laughs> it's all five of yours. Well, Keep first them. of all, um, I was trying to set up a game night at your house without your consent. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and black card revolt is a, is a trivia game. Oh, okay. So it's Passport from the Hood. Or to the hood. Okay, okay. What's dad hat? It's just a hat. Oh. Yeah, it's, <laughs> That's just a thing. You should ask me how old she is. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what a dad hat? Those are like the they, they're like oh, baseball like the, hats. Oh, like yeah. the, yeah, the, uh, the polo joints. You have like joints. the, yeah, the like Adidas, Adidas joints. joints. Yeah, 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 okay. Fair enough. I fucks with those hats. What are these black trivia games? What do they ask? Like, yeah. what are questions? I'm glad you asked. Black card revoked. So... This is what they. This is one of the questions they have. On they have a couple questions. I'm gonna feel ashamed if I get this wrong. All right. If it's history, I'm gonna be like, I don't know. So this is from the Passport to the Hood Hoodology, 2017. Yes, it changes. Know, I don't know lingo, damn. All right. Read the question. It, it tells you this is what it's telling me Read to do. <laughs> and it says it in bold. So it is. <laughs> How long does a black church service last? Forever. Uh, one hour, two hours, three hours, all day. Motherfucking all day. Like if, it's, <laughs> yeah, that's, if you had plans on Sunday, you cancel that shit. That's a fact. All right. Uh, you would know this one, but we have someone in the background. We do. Who is a white. Who is a white. So I'm very intrigued <laughs> to see what this person says. I'm going to ask them a question. All right. What song... Had the best chances of starting of a fight starting in a club. Oh shit! Never scared Bone Crusher. Knock if you buck Crime Mob. Never ever Little Scrappy, and B I B I, Lil John. The, like, is that a is that a poll? Because like I feel like any of those can fucking. No, don't have I've never heard of any of those songs. <laughs> <laughs> like, is Fleetwood Mac one of them? I don't know any of them. <laughs> is it the Lil John one? I. Be a, be a. Why are you acting like a like be a, a, I don't know, a, man. A. Fucking knock if you buck. That's what I was gonna say. That's the one. Literally, the pick. dance is you punching your hand like ready to fucking tee off on knock somebody. Knock if you buck, boy. I come in the club, check out my dress. I want to eat my and busting these heads. So I'm gonna. I'm actually right now. I'm gonna look up black trivia questions. Knock if you buck. Knock if you buck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you would have never known that. So. So I'm going to ask you some black trivia questions, all right? Yeah, no, you can definitely use the mic. Uh, <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> black history quiz. You oh, ready? Goodness gracious. <laughs> the black, the first black to serve, it says black, the first black. That's, I don't like it. <laughs> the first black to serve. It's not like you wrote this. So yeah, <laughs> but like it. <laughs> The first black to serve a full term as a U.S. senator was. Ooh, that's an old one. It, I'll give you. I'll give you the the answers. Uh, Malcolm X. Okay. Uh, Rosa Parks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then you got Blanche Kelso, Bruce of Mississippi, Harem, Velves, Vivels of Mississippi, Edward D. I mean, I'm sorry. I can't read. Edward W. Brooke of Massachusetts. Um, wait, can I read those choices? Because you can't pronounce them. No. Easy. <laughs> I don't give him shit. I don't even know. I can tell you. Um, I don't even have a microphone right now. Uh, I'm going to guess it was the first dude from Mississippi. 
That's right. That's I guess it'll be correct. one of the dudes Mississippi that only chopped it in half. Man. That is correct, Amundo. Did you know? Quick little fun fact: mm. Kamala Harris is only the second black female senator to be elected. Really? And the first was in the early nineties. Huh? I did not know that. There has never been a black female governor. That in is any of the fifty states. Wow. Now, can I ask you guys a personal hood question? What's up? All right. I don't have one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to see his butthole puck. <laughs> Do you, you want to see my butthole? Wait, wait, a, wait. Hey, get out of here. <laughs> White, you're done. I think it's that time. But I want to change things up a little bit. Oh, you do? Instead of just going through all the porn I watch, I would like I don't to, like change. <laughs> intimacy is <interesting. laughs> I would like to give a recommendation to you. Sure. Okay? I have three that you can mm-hmm. pick from. Given the neighbor in his sister's bed. Given the neighbor? Giving the neighbor <laughs> in his... Okay. X videos is your go-to. I what weird no. is that? Like, so when, you, when you're in Safari or whatever, and it, like, it tears oh, all the oh, tiles, you guys, when you tear it, I just see another man's giant white. <laughs> I did not. Did you guys take advantage of the free Pornhub premium during the quarantine? No. I did not. I don't like change. I stick to <laughs> X videos. I stick to X videos. Right. This is two minutes. It's, I mean, it should, that's, that's a good enough time. You loop that motherfucker, you good. Sure. And some of the comments, just to let you know, is she is ridiculously cute. Oh, oh okay. Well, that's adorable. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Daddy, really, <laughs> Daddy likes good girls. But loves a bad girl who needs dick. This dick hard as fuck and rough. The comments took a turn. <laughs> Come, very nice. She is cute. Wow, so hot. I want to fuck her. Oh, okay. So, what were my options? You said I, I get I, I get three choices. Give me this damn thing. No, I I'm I'm recommending. No. Okay. Uh, also, booty so thick. Two Ks. It's one word. <laughs> yeah, fat ass Asian Latina with incredible booty. All right, this is a good one. I think you should watch that. I think everyone should watch it. And yeah, I'll, I'll take notes. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> what was the first one? Uh, giving my sister's head or something like that. What? I don't know. <laughs> Are you projecting? Giving my neighbor. Giving the neighbor in his That's sister's like bed. Shit, right? Giving the neighbor in his sister's bed. That's just grammatically wrong. 100%. And then this one uh, for booty so thick. I feel like I just type in Asian Latina and it's like, oh, we know what you want. It's, it's <laughs> it says the first comment is she is perfect. Nice firm ass. That's nice. And then it goes, I, period, want a body like that. Oh. And then the next comment is, I'm sorry, but an ass like that, I'm pushing my dick inside. Conquering all them hoes. She's wifey material with them tiger stripes. Good job, though, bro. You did that dead ass, my guy. <laughs> you wrote that one. <laughs> <laughs> my guy, my guy. It's Red uh, Hook. He, he left the part out where it says Red Hook at the end. Pure, impure, empty tires. Let's see what else this guy has on his... Uh, on his Stop being a fucking creep. <laughs> Stop. Hey, let's just look at these naked people, bro. Yeah. You're weird. <laughs> <laughs> hey, stupid ass! Please explain what the, what is an Asian Latina. I mean, that was a question I had. <laughs> Let's see if you know what the fuck you're saying. That's what they ask. <laughs> then someone else put Asian Latina. Damn, that's the best of both worlds. <laughs> see that pussy, son. Wifey for life. For life. I'm guessing I also wrote that in your mind. Might. <laughs> and the next one is Bang Bros. Ah, oh, classic. Uh, Taurus Sasha Yamaguchi picked up and fucked on a bang bus. Okay. And the comments go a little something like this. This girl bad as fuck. Why would a nigga leave her? Oh, okay. <laughs> Was she stranded? <laughs> yes. Okay. They kicked out. And, and then someone answered that. Someone oh. rebuttal. They was like, because she's a pain in the ass like most women. <laughs> oh, let's just take a sounding board. <laughs> and then someone put true. We're only made to be fucked. Wow. Oh, goodness. <laughs> and then someone put LA man. Oh. And it's like, <laughs> for sure, this Asian babe is a beauty with big tits. 
And then it just gets racist. Oh, okay. <laughs> Someone calls her a JAP. Oh, wow. <laughs> Is she even Japanese? Uh, maybe. They probably didn't do their fact checking. And, and then, yeah. and then someone is called. His name is Total Bottom New York, NYC. And so yeah, how many pseudonyms do you have in the comment section of X videos? <laughs> yeah, for real. And he says, "Finally." <laughs> <laughs> he goes, "Finally, a really hot, aggressive man. Please, you can beat the shit out of me anytime." Oh dear. Okay. Is three down likes one like, <laughs> <laughs> and then someone put, "God, she's awful." <laughs> she's terrible I would, the pool. <laughs> I would recommend those and a lot of Sa- Sa- Sasha Yamaguchi oh so you, you, went the, you didn't I went, wanna I went down the wormhole right sure Yamaguchi you also look at the top 100 porn actresses from the USA yo alright let you me ask you a Katie question Katie Cummings at 49 uh, at what point does a black woman get in there what do you think uh, wait where is Kiara Noir cause she's uh those names. I would think. <laughs> uh, at what point does a black woman get to the top 100 porn stars? If I stars? give myself over um, under 35, I'm saying over. Like 35, like, oh, as far as like cracking top 35, I'd say yeah. top 20. 46. And who is it? Sarah Banks. I don't know who that is. Who's also fucking a white guy. So I think a lot of people see something in her. Those, sure. Those porn <laughs> rankings, though, those porn rankings change so frequently. Like how because of me. I mean, <laughs> You're not can, watching enough. Yeah, I control. Sashi Yamaguchi's number one, clearly. <laughs> For this week. <laughs> if you this was. Sashi Yamaguchi is, and I jerk off a lot. Right? Okay. <laughs> um, me too. <laughs> so. Well, I have it open, sir, because I, I live my best life. Got a problem. <laughs> um, so, on that note, you have my, my stuff. And I wanted to give that to you. Now you know where amputated limbs go. Yes. Because uh, all dogs go to, to heaven. Mm-hmm. What? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and you also know that Sasha Yamaguchi is a recommend as a creep. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> and I know I, that I you want to know what um, age of consent, right? You was looking up age of consent. I looked up. And you're racist. So... <laughs> cap this whole thing up and i just want to put it out there thank you guys for listening thank you uh background guy i'm gonna call you white that's it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is your name your name is white okay so whenever whenever you see this face this this is the ed mcmahon of this show i guess and he is white that's it that's it peace out peace